in this video i'll show how you can add reactive forms in your project in angular so first of all you can see the preview here is the register form and here is the four input type fields is the name email password and confirm password but in this video i will show how you can check name and emails validation so let's see so first of all i will go to my visual studio code and here you can see i have already opened app module.ts file home component.html file where i have my form you can see the form and home component.ts file so here i will check in this video only name and email validation so the password and confirm passwords will i will comment out and i will save and now if i go to the browser then so you can see it's only showing name and email field and now i will go to the app module.ts file and here i will import reactive forms model and which is come from angular's form and also import forms model so I have already imported this forms module so you can see here forms module and inside this imports array I have Im imports this form module now only I will just add reactive forms module and both are comes from angular forms so uh, I will not write uh, another line so here just I will add a comma and I will add reactive forms module and I will copy this and inside this import array So below the forms module I will paste it you can paste it at the last of this array here but both forms module and reactive forms module both are comes from angular forms so I have just uh, paste it below the forms module you can also paste at the last that's not a matter and here I will just in the inside this HTML file and first of all here we can see the form tag and here in this tag I will bind form group and which is comes from form group so first of all here I will write square brackets and form group G is the capital of form group and equals to and here I will write reactive form you can write here any name of this and this forms group is comes from form group so here I will this ts in this, this ts file I will import form group and this comes from angular forms and semicolon to separate this and now here I will add I will copy this reactive form and I will go to the ts file again and inside this export class I will paste this so just here below the tempo widget here I will paste and the type is reactive forms type is form group so I will copy this and here just I will paste and here I will comment out the active form to understand better so here the active form and now in this HTML file I will write here form control name inside this input field so here form control name and this comes from form control so and the name is form control name is name and so I have to import this form control so and this is comes from angular form so here I will comma and I will write a form control name so you can see here if c 
C and N is the capital. Here is not name, only form control. So you can see here F and C is the capital of form control. And here I will add space. And you can see here I have written here form control name is name because here ng model is the name and this name attribute is name if i change this name attribute full name then i have to change here also full name and i have to change form control name is full name because we should add the similar name the form control names attribute and this ng model and this name attribute so here i have written only name and now i'll go to the ts file and inside this ng on init here I will write a this dot reactive form reactive forms mean this reactive form equals to new form group because this reactive forms type is form group you can see here form group so new form group so i have created a object and parenthesis and curly braces and now i will copy this form controls name means name and here so i will remove this user obj because I have added here form controls name so I have removed this user obj so this user obj I have created an array so user obj so I have removed this name because I have added form control and now here I will paste this name colon and new form control null comma value datas dot require and this validators is comes from validators so here you can see it's automatically imported validators okay here added the fee and now here i have to write if condition so here i will write div and i will add class class name is error you can write any class name i have added this error class to add some css property for styling and now here i will write star ng if equals to reactive form dot get first of all i will get this name inside this reactive form so here name dot touched so this is the inbuilt of angular touched is the inbuilt of angular and i will check another one so and reactive form dot get parenthesis and i will get again name dot invalid
inherit then here name is so this is the message so the touched and invalid here is the invalid the both are the inbuilt of angular so this the, this means that means when i will touch our input field and the input field is invalid that means then if the name is invalid then here it will be shown here this message so i will save and inside this ts file i will save and now i will go to the browser so if i touched this field and if i don't add any name so you can see it showing name is required and now here i will write a custom regex function so how we can do let's see so here i will write another if condition so here i will add a span tag and star ng if equals to the active form dot controls and this is the also inbuilt dot this name dot errors errors is also inbuilt dot here i will check validity so here i will write name validity you can write here any name i have written here name validity because i am checking name semicolon and here i will write else part so else else block this is the syntax of angular to write if and else condition and here i will print in valid name and here i will add star sign and now here i will add a else condition so ng template this is the syntax to write else condition and has else block so i'll copy this and paste and inside this else condition i'll print this message and now here i have to define the custom function so after this required i will add a comma and this dot i will write here a custom function name name check and i will copy this name check and now i will define this function so just here i'll check and you can see here i have written here controls so to similar this controls i will pass the parameter so i will write the parameter name is control you can write here any name of this parameter and now here i will write if condition if control means this parameter so control dot value equals to not null that means if the name fields value not equals to null then where i will add is ag so I I have written here a variable first new and e is the capital of reg ext 
and now here and here I will add a regex so you can find any regex in from Google but here I will add just simple regex so I will not go to Google here I will type if the name a sm small a letter to Z and capital A capital Z now again if this variable dot test control dot value not equals to true then return this name validity so I'll copy this and here just I will paste true so that means if the regic is not true then it will be return this name validity name validity means yeah i have written this name validity and i'll save this and also save this and now i will go to the browser and here first of all if i touch this and if i don't add any name then here you can see name is required and if i add any number because i have at this regex in this function when we are to write letter not a number so if I add any number and so then you can see it's showing invalid name so again first of all they are so name is required and if I add a proper name in later then you can see error is removed but if I add another in number then you can see it's showing invalid name and the same way you can write emails validation so first of all here I will write form control name equals to email because here name is email and in the model is email so form control name I have to write here email and the same way I have to check the conditions so I will copy this and here I will paste but just instead of name here I will paste email email and here is email and instead of name validity I will write here email validity and here I will write invalid email and here email is required and the ts file in the same way I will copy this and I will paste and instead of name 
our letter email and here our lights email check so I'll copy this name check function and instead of name check I will copy this email check and here just I will paste and instead of this regex I will add a email regex so here in this site I have a regex and just here I will paste this regex so you can find this regex from Google and I will provide this regex in our description and here is the email validity so I will copy this so if this regex doesn't match then it will be returned this email valid so everything is fine and now I will go to the browser and here if I click this and if I don't add any name then you can see name is required and if I add one 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 so you can see name is invalid but if I write here any letter suppose creative developer then you can see error is removed and if I click email and if I okay it's not working here is not email here is should email instead of name now if I go to the browser so again here I will like but if I touched here and if I didn't touch then you can see email is required and if I add wrong email so you can see invalid email so I have to write email format so I will write creative at the rate gmail dot com so you can see error is removed and now I can submit here but suppose someone didn't add anything and directly clicked in submit button then the form will be submitted because I didn't add any function in this submit button so here in this form first of all in this HTML file here inside this form tag you can see I have written a register function and I have defined this register function here you can see and this is the register code this user obj I have defined this user obj here so this is the register code because I have connected this project in from in express.js and if you want to learn express.js then you can go to my play playlist and from there you can write min stack you can see min stack and then you can learn express min and also min stacks video so here inside this function I will write a condition if this dot reactive form dot status status is the in so double equals to valid So if the status is valid then it will be added this inserted code otherwise insert this else function 
I will return this this dot reactive form dot get name dot mark as touched and semicolon and in the same way I will return also email function so here I will like to save and now if I go to the browser and now if I click this submit button then you can see it's showing both field are required so now I have to fill up this and I have, if I add wrong email then you can see the invalid email and so I have to write a proper email so create it at the rate gmail dot com so here is remove and now I can click this submit button so this is the reactive form and the next video I will show how you can add reactive form in your password and confirm password and how to match the confirm password and password speed so let's see the next video